Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys all here, both old and new subscribers alike. Guys, what is up with this energy? My God. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting reading. I already know that. Well, every reading on this channel is interesting because you never know what to expect. You guys know that I start picking up on the energy before I start. If you're new, that's how it works. I start getting omens and things, you know, all over the place. But this freaking Seven of Cups energy, man. Oh, God. that Whenever I get that energy, sometimes it's easier to start readings and sometimes it's not. Because it depends on the overall energy. The energy I'm picking up on immediately was that Seven of Cups energy. Seven of Cups energy is, it could be illusion, delusion, confusion, or having a lot of options, not knowing where to go, what to choose, what to feel. Because cups signify your heart space, your emotions. So you might be stuck right now, like not even, like you might feel a little disconnected from your heart space a little bit, like not knowing or asking for signs. Like you don't know what's coming from your ego, what's coming from your heart space, what's the truth. I don't know, okay? But that seven of cups energy, we're gonna, I mean, I will know soon. That seven of cups energy, I see it as like having like fogged mirrors, right? Or a, like a dirty mirror or a dirty glass window. And needing to get some Windex and paper towel and just clean that up to get some clarity, okay, on the situation so that you can pick a cup and have that vision and know that that's what you feel, okay? When I get that Seven of Cups energy, though, because I feel the vibe, I'm like, I have to dissect the energy, it takes me forever to start the reading because I'm, like, picking up on the energy, but this kind of energy makes it hard to focus it's like brain fog and i'm like i don't usually have brain fog i'm literally channeling but that was the energy that's why okay <laughs> so we'll see where this is going to take us for those of you that are new um now that i put that out there okay i had to release that energy before i started i had to because if not it was just gonna like stay on top of me and stop me from doing what i'm doing for those of you that are new, just to introduce uh, my style of reading and you know what to expect. I'm not just talking your head off. I'm not a psycho over here. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm a medium. That's my innate ability since I was a child. Um, what that means is since I was a child, I've been able to connect with spirit. Um, those on the other side. It runs in my family um, through my paternal grandmother's side. As far back as we can think of. Um, so I'm naturally a no tools reader. What that means is I don't need cards to give you a reading. I can just, I feel the energy and I can just tell you what it is. So channeling is my main ability. Channeling is a process of picking up on the energy. I have visions. Um, it's a conversation. So I'm going to tell you what I see, what I hear. A lot of times, most of the time, well, every time they show me the, the spread, the cards before they come out. Um, and then when I pull cards later, it'll, you know, go on with the, um, to confirm the energy, but this is another channeled message. So I'm not just talking your head off, even in the intros, you know, it starts to flow. So bear with me. They're going to touch on a lot of topics today. I already know. Cause when it says seven of cups, I already knew what I was getting into. I'm like, come on. All right. For those of you that are not new and even if you, uh, um, you know, for those of you that are new, Okay, and for those of you that are not new, I think you might already know this, but in case you don't, they want to emphasize that the main reason, and this applies to you too, my main soul's purpose on this channel is not just to give you a reading and like focus on like surface level stuff, though they give, they're pretty detailed. Their main purpose through me is to demonstrate there's a lot of paranormal ish here that there is something or to remind you in case you already know this, that there is something bigger than us out there that we need to rely on more. Okay. That's why they have me channel first before pulling cards. Cause it's more the process of showing you 
that there's something outside of us, right? I'm not just having visions by myself, okay? That there's something guiding this reading and you always. And they're showing me a picture of like the galaxy, right? You know that feeling? Well, that kind of goes with the Seven of Cups energy, right? You know that feeling? I, I know I mean, you're, if you're human, you've experienced it. Do you ever just sit and think about the fact that we live on a planet and then you start thinking about it? And then you start thinking about that, you know, we orbit around the sun. That's like this ball of fire and gas. And then you start thinking about the galaxy. And then you start thinking about the universe. And then you start thinking about whether there's aliens or, yes, there are, or what's outside or what happens after death. And then you kind of like just black out because we can't explain it, even though we know. And then you don't want to think about it anymore because we're human and our ego's like, nah, this is it's too much, right? You don't want to think about that all the time, right? They just want to remind you, okay, that... Don't get scared of that energy, okay? Ask for guidance. Rely on what's outside of you. It exists. Some of you, which is human, are losing touch with your intuition, okay? Because of whatever you're going through. And they just want to remind you that there's something out there just waiting to guide you in the right direction. Or they have been giving you signs and synchronicities about what path or how you're supposed to feel or how what you're supposed to do in a situation. But this dog that's barking outside, I'm sorry, he doesn't stop. It's like a German Shepherd or something. But that swords, the suit of swords, signify our mind, our intellect, our thoughts, how we communicate, which is ultimately what we manifest. There's like a battle between your intuition. The intuition card is always, they showed me the high priestess. The high priestess is your intuition. She's a psychic. She's a medium. She's intuitive. She doesn't speak much because she gets the answers from within. Okay? Is fighting with your ego right? And you kind of know that. And then it's kind of confusing you on like what path, like what's real and what's not, how you should approach situations. Romantically, I'm getting a love vibe, career, your whole life in general, because things are changing. So you ask for signs and synchronicities and you're getting them. But because you're in your head, you're almost asking too much and not going within enough to hear their answers. Because you might get a sign. Let's say you got an angel number, you Google it and that it says something to you. But then you're like, but logically, that doesn't make sense. You know, like what? I'm confused. Like, no, listen, they're trying to give you the answer. Okay, hold on. Again, everything here is intuitively guided. So every reading's different. Like they just told me to pull an Archangel Michael card. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna continue with the energy. But there's a lot going on right now. We'll see, They're, they have a lot of messages. Listen, I don't believe in the message this may or may not resonate, that doesn't exist. I'm channeling energy. So if you're guided here, you're part of this energy. You're here for a reason. So there's something here that you need to like hear today. Um, so listen to the reading. But I do wanna emphasize, they wanna emphasize because I'm channeling energy, remember that you can flip the energy, reverse it to the left, to the right. I can be talking about love. Rely on your intuition, which is part of the message that they just gave me. If I'm talking about, they're going to give me details or very detailed about the energy that's most prevalent, like with the details. But if I'm talking about love, but you know for a fact, intuitively, that the energy that I'm picking up on relates to career or your family or an aspect of you, you can apply it in that way if i'm talking about you but you know that this actually applies more to somebody else in your life you can change that but ultimately remember 
the energy surrounds you. So whether you see it or not, the reason that happens is because an energy can be manifesting right now primarily in love, but everything that exists ultimately transfers to every area of your life, right? Okay, this is what they wanted. So I just, they told me to pull two from here. You're on the right path. <laughs> Literally, it's an angel pulling the hand of a child. Like, but this card always makes me laugh because look at his hand, right? I kid you not. This is like the energy I was getting. This, <laughs> this card cracks me up because the image of this angel, Archangel Michael, his hand is like, dude, are you not listening? I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to guide you. Come on, right? It's like, hello. Look, that's the energy I'm getting. It's like they're trying to tell you something. Hold on. Whoop. Whoop. Hold on. That, that wasn't right. I don't even know what that was. Let me pick, we'll pick one more. New beginnings and a fresh start. Yep, that's what's happening. Okay? They showed me the Wheel of Fortune card, which came out the last reading major cycles are closing world's card you're about to have a huge new beginning and a fresh start in your life what's holding you back from that that's funny i was talking about the sun and like gas and whatever and there it is right he is literally guiding you like hello i'm trying to give you the answer but that seven of cups energy right he's trying to tell you what you need to do to get this new beginning and fresh start that you want but you're like looking at it through a paradigm of like old thinking or things that go against like what you think is logical or what you need to do right basically let me let me just read this and this will flow all right bear with me you're on the right path archangel michael i call upon you now told you he wants you to call upon him thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that i easily understand you see that goes hand in hand with the message it says loud and clear guidance that i easily understand because that seven of cups energy is like i don't get it kid you not thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes yeah filling me with the courage and confidence right because this has something to do with not having the courage or the confidence, that seven of cups energy to pick one of those cups. You don't know what's right, what's wrong. Okay. They're about to guide you right now. Just bear with me. New beginnings and a fresh start. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. We just spoke about being confused about making changes or where, what you have to do, or, you know, what path you have to take because you're looking at it through like an old paradigm or an old aspect of you or an old behavior pattern, which your entire life has been programmed. You've been programmed to think it's like, that's the way you're supposed to act or think, or that's what's logical. But there's something about not releasing and healing those old program like mental programming that's like holding you back and it's so hard i get it we're human because it's all you've ever known so but it's not there's something you need to do that's different to create this new beginning and a fresh start and it's so counterintuitive to you okay they actually want one more and then we're gonna keep going with the channeling and the reading it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Okay? <laughs> this unhealthy situation, this unhealthy situation, okay, I'm getting is not so much, but it's manifesting in your life. This unhealthy situation has a lot more to do. Be, uh, it's a reflection of an aspect of your life or, you know, something you have within your subconscious that you have not healed. And it's, it's, um, dictating how you see situations or how you interact with other people, right? And it's unhealthy. 
Because that, if you're confused, that means that you're not aligned to your truth somehow. Okay? Something you need to release. We'll get to it. It says, my prayer, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus? I told you. It's lack of focus. Seven of Cups. Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage. It's, again, it says courage to make healthy life changes in my life. Whether you realize it or not, you're scared. You're scared shitless. And you might be sabotaging situations or unwavering in your ability to see things from a different perspective or blaming outside, you know, forces for what's going on, but they need you to approach something or some things, we're going to get to it, in a different way that's counterintuitive to you. We'll get to that, okay? I don't know why they keep emphasizing this, okay, over and over again, but they did it the last reading too, okay? They won't stop with that Five of Swords energy. That Five of Swords energy, okay, to me as a reader, what, you know, they show it to me because they know that that's what it means to me, so I'll be able to pick up the message when I see it, is meddling energy for me. That's what I see that card as. Swords signify your mind, your intellect, your thoughts, and what you communicate. Ultimately, what your thoughts are and what you communicate is what you manifest. It's your reality. Five of Swords is meddling energy. What does meddling energy mean? It's outside influences getting in your mind. I don't know why this is such a big situation right now, but they keep saying over and over again to stop sharing your business with other people people in the way that you are actually meaning it is healthy if you need to release something talk to your friends talk to a counselor someone neutral but it is more helpful right now to speak to somebody that's neutral even if it's like through watching videos like me or something right um to get a different perspective than people that are close to you because people that are close to you are part of your past, okay? And it says to release your past. The thing is that people that are close to you feel more comfortable giving you advice, which is great. But they are not you. And if you're out of touch with your intuition and what's in your heart space, everybody has a different perspective of the world. They're going to give you advice based off their experiences and um, you don't know if their experiences have, it's not going to be the same as your experience. And um, there's something about you sharing your business with people too much and people getting in your head or someone else that you're dealing with, okay? It's infiltrating your space and therefore filling your mind with, you know, this is what you should do. No, this person's not good for you. No, this situation is not good for you. No, only you know what you need to do you know let your heart guide you it's it's like it's it's what's adding to that seven of cups energy truly because as long as these thoughts get in your mind it starts to manifest outward even if you're even if you think you're taking it with a grain of salt okay so please go with them something about that they keep emphasizing <gasps> did i just you can't oh my god you probably this is not a joke. You, there, I swear to God, I shuffled this a hundred times. Like, there's no, did you? That was completely involuntary. Dude, I do not read. I'm sorry, my dog's going crazy. I do not read reversals. Okay. And I'm going to put these back because I'm not even done with the channeling. But that came out like that for a reason. Kid you not. That sh it happens every time on this channel, but it still shocks me every time because it's like, wow, thank you. They are so present. Meddling energy. Five of cups. The five of cups is sadness, melancholy. Um, the number five signifies change, though. So it's the need to make a change. We have five of swords and five of cups. So there's a need to make a change in your thoughts, how you communicate, how you're processing things, um, how other people are getting in your mind. You see there's other people here. Um, and this is cups, your emotions. Five of cups is focusing too much 
on the three cups that have spilled over. And then you don't even realize that there are two cups behind you. If your eyes closed, because there's meddling energy that's having you focus too much on the negative things that have happened. Or it's that you're sharing stuff so much that it's like getting in your own head because you're only talking about negative things and you're not, it's stopping you from going within to like give you insight on what you should do to fix it. And this has something to do with love, especially. Why? Because the two cups that are standing behind this unicorn is the two of cups. What's the two of cups? The two of cups is love, partnership, coming together with someone, okay? You might have gone, you might have had three go-arounds with a person or three years or you might have had three partners that have hurt you or three situations. Take the three as it resonates. But there's three cups spilled over. That's how they had me channel that right now. And that's transferring into what's blocking you to see that there's love here, Okay. You need to get out of that space. Or somebody that you're dealing with hurts, hurt you in the past. And there's still potential to come together with this person. But you're both, okay? Possibly, because I'm getting a mirroring energy card. Focusing so much on the hurts that's happened in the past. And not focusing enough on how this could change. And what makes this difficult... Why reconciliation is so hard? Believe it or not, I have to be honest. Reconciliation is very rare, but it does happen. Why is it rare? Because in order to reconcile with someone, you need to be on the same at the same frequency, the same vibration, the same energy, have the same vision. So it takes two people to get to, like two people have to be on board with the same idea to get there. You can't control other people, but you can control yourself. So by leading with love and not focusing on these heavy things that are happening, eventually you, if you're meant to be with this person, you will inspire them to do the same because they have to match you if they want to be in your life, okay? But the Five of Cups energy came out in reverse, right? That means getting out, not f getting out of this, this energy of feeling sad or focusing on the negative. But because it came out with the Five of Swords upright, two things. Because it just came out like that, it's basically saying that they want you to get out of this energy and it's because of the meddling energy. But I'm also getting that for some of you, might not be all of you, but for some of you, okay, take this with a grain of salt, whether with you or someone you're dealing with romantically, there is the meddling energy is telling them, Hey, you've been sad in this situation. Look at all the things that have happened like three million times, literally three or for three years or three times, you know, like this person's not for you. This is not going to happen, right? Because that came out. That's another way that I see it. That came out in reverse, meaning the meddling energy is telling you, hey, you need the only way that you're going to get out of the sand is if you release the situation. But that's five of swords. So that meddling energy is not in your best interest. It is not the truth. That is why it's the five of swords. It's not like the five of cups in reverse, getting out of sadness next to like the lover's card. Like, yay, it's next to the five of swords. Somebody's getting in the head of someone that you need to stop that. Okay. This could also be, honestly, meddling energy. I told you, it can resonate. I could be talking about other people. It could resonate with aspects of yourself. You can be getting in your own mind, right? The meddling energy might be you because they said heal things from the past. You're saying all these things have happened so much. Like, I just need to release this and, you know, but it's your negative thinking that's affecting the situation. Actually, you know, I'm going to pull two more cards for that message and then we're going to move on. But I mean, if that came out like that and they had me emphasize, dude, no lie. What kind of shuffling was that? Did you just see me flip that? 
I just pulled it out and then it came out. Guys, if you're new to this channel, that's how it works. If I split the deck and a card that I channeled I was just talking about literally comes out like that, I gotta pull it out. We were just talking about the two of the cups. So this is absolutely about love. We were just talking about that. Now we're talking about, okay, you were focusing on the three cups that spilled over and there's literally two cups behind you that you need to focus on. So they're saying, hey, this meddling energy, stop, uh, let it go. Even if it's meddling energy like you and your own like mind, like defeating yourself. You're not meant to be said about the situation. The truth is you have to focus on the fact that there is love here and it's strong. You're connected to this person, okay? You have the power to decide how to change that. And there's angel wings here. It's like they're asking you to, they're trying to give you angelic guidance about this, okay? This is absolutely about love, okay? I don't just do love readings here, but if it's coming out and I chant, like that's what it is, all right? can't deny it but that five of swords energy is upright it's still very much so the, the the first card and it was the first card i started channeling it's the most the biggest energy like the most like it's happening right now so this could be like what's transpiring but right now you guys are in defeat energy, meddling energy, five of swords energy. This could also be wanting to one up somebody or it's like competition energy. Um, you know, no, you're wrong. No, I'm wrong. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. Um, where's the love here? That's what I'm getting that it's counterintuitive. It doesn't matter who hurt who. How about that? Yeah, I know that, that that's your ego. I know. It, they just they just reminded me of that saying it sounds so cliche but it's true be the change that you want to see in other people and then you see if their energy will you know match yours okay so no matter who did who wrong right know when to separate if their frequency is like really in this five of swords you know negativity but with an open heart space, not in a way of like, I'm focusing on the negative and this is what happened. So I'm not going to give love because, you know, they need to show me, you know, that they're going to get out of this energy. No, no, no. Meaning, always match somebody else's energy. Give what they give. Right? But don't get into the energy of defeat of you know getting angry that they're not thinking the way you want them to think or this or that or this or that because at the end of the day you have love for this person and that doesn't go away so you're only affecting yourself right so keep your heart space open right and if somebody is in this energy and not opening up to you just say all right and back off and see if they match the change that you want to see in other people. If it's love, it will come. What's this? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a defensive energy. There's a lot of defensive energy here, okay? So that's the main message. There's a lot of defensive energy and this unicorn is looking at the past, okay? So you might be missing the fact that you had love with this person in the past, but things have not been going so great, but you keep looking at the past so you can't move forward. You can't come from an energy either of saying, well, because this person did this, I need to see this change in them before I can open my heart. No, you're still being defensive. So that's what you're manifesting, right? Do you understand? You can't withhold love, basically. You need to not be defensive and focus on the love. 
Don't overgive though. That's not what they're saying. Don't be like, but I love you, but I love you, but I love you. If they're in the five of swords energy, but don't be defensive either. Make it clear what you feel. Make it clear, you know, that you're open and then see if they follow. Okay. Two more. Again, this Five of Pentacles energy that keeps coming out. Man. Oh. And the Page Swords. Again, these two unicorns. And both of you mirroring energy. Look at with the High Priestess, which we were channeling. Look at that. So High Priestess is the medium, psychic, your intuition. That came out on its own, meaning you guys need to go within and... Think another way and see what your heart really feels. Page of Swords is like text messages, spying, you know, you know, conversations like that, right? This is a unicorn with pink hair and this is a unicorn with purple hair. So it's like both unicorns, you and this other person, are both looking at the past. But interestingly enough, what they're looking at here is the two of cups so there's defensive energy there's lack energy feeling out left in the cold energy but you're both still remembering the love you had in the past so regardless if this energy is here which kind of stinks you both remember that there's love and that's very hard because this person has a wand in their mouth, which is I'm being defensive. I'm not opening up. I'm not showing passion. But I remember that I love you. And this person has a sword in their mouth, which is communication. So it could be somebody that opposed to this communicates defensively still remembering that they love somebody. So it's like this, you both leave each other out in the cold. But at the same time, you both remember there's love here. This is, you know, you both have to make that change. You both have to, whatever's in your mouth, <laughs> the one, the passion, or holding it back, being defensive, or how you communicate, drop it. Because you're both thinking about this, love. Five of Pentacles, being, you know, this is uh, being left out in the cold. This is the card of, um, it, it keeps coming out. Two readings in a row already. This is the energy of lack. Okay? Lack mentality. Feeling like, oh, this person's not doing this. I'm lacking this from this person. This person's not doing that. I'm lacking this from this person. And then you're blocked. And you're leaving both of you're, you. You... You literally, it's ridiculous because here, the two unicorns are still walking together, wounded and everything. Like, look, it has a cast on its leg. This one's freezing. They're out in the cold, but you're still walking together. You're still the two of cups. It's, it's so crazy. And again, five, 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 five. There needs to be a change because the love is not going away. If you want it to manifest, it's your choice, right? They're saying, don't speak too much right now. Go within. You're getting the answers. You're still walking together, but that's also the energy of you're both kind of doing the same thing to each other, even whether you realize it or not. That's why they're asking you to go within and like be the bigger person, right? Because it's like the energy of you both are blocking each other. You're very stubborn energy. You're both coming from a place of lack in your own ways. Somebody lacks this, the other person lacks that. So I'm blaming you because I'm lacking this. I'm blaming you because I'm lacking this. So how do you get to the love space? Right? Stop one-upping each other. Stop focusing on spilled milk. Focus on the two of cubs. Even if it sounds counterintuitive, don't worry who hurt who. Don't come from a place of You know, make it clear that you love this person. But remember, the page of swords is like text messages, communication. So if this person's being defensive and blocking their emotions, don't be that person that's like, I love you, I love you, oh my God, oh my God, I feel left out in the cold, oh my God. 
right? That's not helping either. Demonstrate what love is. Keep it simple, right? Match them where they're at. See if they follow. If they're being defensive, explain to them how you feel. Have a, you know, pages towards this communication, but not in a defensive manner. Get out of your heart space and just try to heal the past. That's what the Archangel Michael said. Like, just let it go. Because you're both walking together anyway, but in the cold. I know it's hard. Because somebody hurt somebody, but it's not like this person. This person hurt me more, so I need to act like this. Can't do that. It's not compassion. It'd be the bigger person. See them where they're at. Right? Make sure that they know that there's love there. Separate when you need to. Because you guys are hurting yourselves. Right? If you want to come together. Tap into your intuition. It's going to... Your intuition is telling you, both of you, that there's love here. But this is stubborn as hell. <laughs> but it's going to change. If you want it to. Did I just pick this up and it's a seven of cups? I told you. And it's going to change. Because a I don't read reversals, but, you know, it's an omen. Because that was the first energy I was talking about. It's like, you don't know what's real. Neither does this person. This is mirroring. There's two. You guys are mirroring each other. Like, literally, look. It's like the same. Two suits. Two different manifestations of the same lack energy. One, one upping each other, stubborn as hell, playing games, uh, focusing on the, you know, not releasing the freaking past. But then there's love here. So it's like a cycle and a cycle and a cycle. So you don't know what to do. You have all these options. Should I go here? Should I leave them? Should I whatever? Should I whatever? But it came out in reverse. When it's in reverse, it's, again, getting that Windex and cleaning that dirty mirror and picking one cup so if it's two of cups, the only thing you can do is pick one cup, say, well, the love is here. It is what it is. And see if they pick up the cup too. But I guarantee you, you'll have a better outcome regardless if you just leave the petty-ish behind. Regardless of how they're acting, don't react to their ish. No one to step back, even if they're being hurtful. Every time you want to communicate something, communicate from a, heart, a loving place and then step back. You already have your cup out here. But not from a place of controlling the outcome either. From a place of whether you're with me or not, I'm not going to be left out in the cold. If you stand there with that cup and you're not wavering with that cup, if it's love, like real love, I saw the lover's card. I saw the ten of cups. I saw the ten of pentacles. Those are like, this is big love. But you guys have to make... The choice. If you stand there with that cup, like whatever, like, you know, it will manifest if it's supposed to. What's this? Temperance. Can I channel the world's card too? Closing out major cycles. <laughs> but the, the world's card means like closing out cycles for good. Like you guys have been in a cycle round and round and round and round and round and round. It's number 21 card. So I don't know if it's been since 2021 it was like, you know, the most significant year. But temperance, temperance is tempering your emotions, tempering that lack mentality. Everything that I said, no matter what. Look, like I said, this unicorn has one cup. There's two. Unbelievable. There's two cups here, which is the two of cups. This just confirms what I just said. Regardless. This other unicorn is not here with this cup right now. There's two cups. You have one in your mouth. Instead of the wand, instead of the swords in your mouth, you have a cup in your mouth now. That means speak with love. If you're getting angry, if you're exploding, please, you need to temper that. Right? Everything that comes out of your mouth, have it come from your heart space, from positive emotions. And you're just, all you're doing is pouring water, which is emotions and love, into this cup, even if no one's there. And if that's the case, if this person's supposed to be with you, well, then that cycle will close and you will come together. It's up to you. I know that you're hurt. I know that this is shitty. 
this looks like there's a lot of heavy energy, but the only thing you can do is come from a place of love. Not from a place of love of like pushing it though. Like, I love you. Oh my God, come back. We're supposed to be together. No. From a place of love is like, I respect whatever you want to do, do it. All right? If they do something that makes, that feels disrespectful, don't deal with it. Be like, you know, temper your emotions, wait a day or two, and then tell them, you know, through speaking with love, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. They react negatively, step back, but always make it clear that you have a cup of love for this person because you guys come from a place of lack, I'm getting. So maybe it's your childhood. They show me the six of cups, but there's still, whatever it is, because it says heal your wounds from the past, that Archangel Michael card said. So whatever it is you guys are mirroring to each other comes from the past, from past relationships that have hurt you. I told you it could be three relationships, three situations. It could be your childhood, right? So this is like, this is abandonment, five pentacles. So it could be mirroring abandonment issues, right? Someone doesn't open up because they're afraid if they open up, they're going to be, you know, not valued or, you know, however you weren't valued. Somebody is too much in their head or, or has a sharp tongue because this, this, this unicorn has a sword in their mouth. I can relate to that. I, 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 I go through that. Even if I'm here giving advice, listen, I'm channeling, but I'm a human being. That also comes from a place of lack. If you always need to like say what you want, I need to control the outcome. I love you. We're, we're supposed to, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. That also comes from a place of anger because you didn't get that in the past right? You didn't get the outcome and love in the past that you wanted, or you felt neglected, you felt left out in the cold. This other person doesn't open up. It's offensive because they were left out in the cold. Don't you guys realize you guys are walking forward in the same freaking energy? You're both walking to, you both have the two of cups, you're both walking, you're both keeping yourself out in the cold, and you, literally, it's two manifestations of the same freaking energy. <laughs> it's crazy. Two manifestations of the same energy. Two manifestations of the same energy. The What's at the root of this is I'm afraid to be left out in the cold. I'm afraid that I'm wasting my time and you're going to hurt me and, and, and be left out in the cold. There's a lot of coldness in the communication and the passion right now. Even if love existed, there was a connection that was really sweet at some point. Right? Someone might be closed off, not opening up. Some, you know, someone might be cold, meaning they don't open up, and that makes you feel abandoned or neglected. And someone could be cold because they speak cold words, and that makes the other person feel bad. But you're, even if it seems different, you're in the same energy. And at the end of the day, whether you see it or not, is what they're saying. Both of you. Don't have your heart spaces open. Whoever is the one that communicates the most thinks that you have your heart space open and you don't get why the other person's blocked. That means they're blocked. They're not opening their heart space. No, it's just the same manifestation of the same thing. Both of you don't have your heart space open. Because if you did, you would be patient and knowing when to walk away when they're in this energy and just like demonstrate something different. Not holding something over somebody's head or talking about the past too much. Do you know if you focus on the things that went wrong so much, you end up manifesting it a lot. And you think you're helping this person. Right? I'm not going to do this because they did this until they show me that they're going to change or whatever. Well, but you're still focusing on the past. It's not going to change. There's abandonment wounds here. Or this that this person triggered also at some point in the past. Right? That needs to end. The only thing you can do in this situation is a keep, speak, speak with sugar, not salt. What's that saying? You get more with sugar than salt or something like that, something like that. You love this person? Is it true? High priestess, did you go within? Is that going to change? Is you being angry or whatever going to change that? No. If you're not in contact by you withholding contact from this person, or I'm not going to talk to you, whatever. Is that going to change that you love this person? No, you're hurting yourself. Be assertive, communicate with love what you feel. Don't be in your ego. Like, I'm not going to talk to them. Reach out, send a text message, page of swords. Be sweet. 
if there being a a hole, then be like, you're still sweet. I still showed you I cared. Step back. They're not in they're not in your frequency, but stay in that love frequency. See if 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 the love is really true, which it seems that it is, they'll match you at some point. And if it's not, still don't be bitter. Still hold that heart love for that person, but be confident enough to close out the cycle and move on. Because you're not going to be, don't wait around for anybody. No, no, no. No. Because if you're waiting around for somebody, guess what? That is still the five of pentacles energy that comes from an abandonment wound. Because you don't want to lose this person. You're focused on an outcome. Because there was love there. But because of that, you're manifesting that more and more. This is going to end. This cycle is going to end. I see it. Because this unicorn is looking back also. It says there's there's a unicorn here looking backwards at the past, you know, defensive energy. A unicorn here looking back at the past with, you know, the sharp tongue, sharp communication, or, you know, negative thoughts, the swords. But ultimately, there's a unicorn. And, you know, I told you, the major arcana, like big energy. Ultimately, there's a unicorn here looking at this whole situation this unicorn is looking at the temperance, seeing, wow, I closed this cycle by keeping this cup of love in my mouth and pouring into the other one no matter what. Even if there's somebody, whether this person's there or not, there's not another unicorn there. All that matters is that I was assertive with what's really in my heart space. I shared it, but I didn't push, I didn't get angry, nothing. Right? If this person doesn't come forward, guess what? That other cup is full and someone will come forward and pick up that cup and be like, well, here, I'll give it to you. That cycle is going to close either way. The cycle of, of being cold and being, you know, um, all of this comes from the past. It's abandonment issues and things. Energy of lack. It could also be, you know, Energy of lack comes from every, it manifests in your whole life. That's the crazy part. Abandonment wounds and en the energy of lack manifests everywhere. If you, if you have a fear inside of like, or you lo if you lost something in the past or um, somebody neglected you or you have some kind of abandonment wound, that even, that transfers into money, into everything, right? You, you literally start losing things because you're always in that, is this crooked? Because you're always subconsciously thinking about lack. You didn't have enough love. You didn't have enough money. You didn't have enough this. My parents didn't show me enough support. Whatever. I did this all by myself. I always felt like I had a, you know, freaking cast on my foot. Whatever. So everyone's, you know, it looks like both of you have moved forward. Both of you simultaneously because there's two unicorns here. Like you've had a cold life, even if you've had a lot of love in it. There's been a lack of something in your life. Something's always lacked, whether it's support, whether it's love, whether it's something is, has not filled that cup. You got to fill that cup yourself. And that, because that also manifests everywhere, I told you. Not only does it ruin this connection, but it ruins your finances. Everything that you do that's not aligned with your heart space, instead of you're aligning it with lack, manifests that way. You're not abundant in money. You're not abundant in this. But guess what? If it's finances... The more you want to make money and you're scared of not having money, the more you lose it. It's the same thing as a relationship. The more you want a relationship and you don't want to lose it, the more you lose it. When you just like do things out of your passion assertively without fear. Like I'm going to tell this person I love them, whatever. They want to be do this. They want to be with another person, whatever, whatever, whatever. As long, you know, you're open that 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 cycle closes as long as you cling to things whether it's money whether it's people whether whatever the more you lose it yup and that's devil energy that's your devil energy both of you are shackled by the neck the devil oh the devil has you guys in the chokehold Oh my God, both of you, the same pink and purple unicorn. 
The devil does not mean you're a demon. The devil is things in the, like carnal things. It's, it is your demons inside. It's your devil energy. It's your ego. It's your pride. It's all of the things that hold you back. That, you know? And it stinks, but that's part of life. And you don't even know that you're shackled. That's the funny thing. And it sucks because, again, these two unicorns are looking at each other. Here they're walking in the cold next to each other. Here they're marrying each other. Like, regardless of all this energy, it's each other. Like, there's two unicorns. Two unicorns doing the same thing. Two unicorns in the, in the cold. The, there's a unicorn meddling energy there's two unicorns defeated in the bag like, like you're both messed up because of your both three swords on the bottom is three of swords which is heartbreak you're both heartbroken but either way it's ridiculous not funny but at the end of the day you it's still the both of you <laughs> like it's still the both of you and the divine's trying to close this cycle out telling you what to do so they instead of like you're both there like sad. You're both here walking in the cold. You're both here marrying each other in different ways. You're both here shackled. They want you to both look at each other and be strong. And like, that's the thing. It's temperance. You see, you have one cup. You're filling that cup for yourself so that you could both have a cup to offer each other. Right? And it's interesting that it's like pink and purple, pink and purple, right? Like signifying like two different unicorns, but in the two of cups, they're both pink. And that uh, to me signifies like finally like getting on the same, you have to be in the same energy. Until, until you get that, you one will be purple and one will be pink. And then you will be shackled. But you're still looking at each other like you long for each other. You're still bonded, but you're bonded and ego and pride and awful things right so there's no guarantee that one person is going to release their shackle that you're both going to release those those shackles by the neck at the same time that's the point so one of you has to you know lead with love no matter what and be like hey i, I got myself out of this chokehold so now i'm free to release you that's when you could come together again but not from a place of lack and afraid of losing this person. Like, let them live their life. Live your life, but always be loving and forgive whatever, like the past. Because at the end of the day, there's love. That's, this is so, you guys are exactly the same. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this in my life in a reading like that. Never. Never. Like, literally, look, the two unicorns the same. Two unicorns the same. Two unicorns the damn same. Two unicorns the same. Two unicorns, the same. At the end of the day, it manifests differently on the outer world. That's why it's the pink and purple. But at the end of the day, you guys have the same love, same heart space, the same fear. But here you're both pink. <laughs> right? It's your devil energy, your ego, your pride. Right? Wow. So I was like, oh, they have a lot of energy. What is this about? What's the Seven of Cups about? Well, it's obviously, you know, I didn't know if it was career and everything, but now I understand because they're saying that this, because what they were trying to say is that this energy, right now there's a focus on love, right? But this energy manifests in your whole life. It's the devil overpowering your whole lives because this is not just manifesting, honey, in this relationship. It's manifesting in both of your lives individually in other areas somebody has lack of finances somebody's struggling somebody might be struggling um this is also pentacles things on the earthly plane mental stability um etc it all comes from the same place though right so this is manifesting everywhere they just want one unicorn there's one to take a cup pick a cup in the when it's in reverse you pick a cup that one unicorn in the you know just keep filling your own cup so you have something to offer. Don't focus on the devil. The devil's tricking you. Wow. Whoa. What was that? Where is it? Knight of Cups. Chariot. Moving forward. I We channeled this card. Four, four of Swords. Having to go within. Go within by yourself. Meditate on this. 
Meditate on this. Three of swords on the top, heartbreak. When you are out of this meditation, contemplation, whoa. What you do is you wake up, you pick up that one sword, which is the ace of swords, which is clarity and truth. Okay? But you got to do that work individually so that you can move forward. Notice it's the pink unicorn here meditating. Somebody got to chill. That's when you are allow the other unicorn to be able to move forward. Which is the same here. Who moves forward? The purple unicorn. Somebody then has, you have to fill your own cup so you can have a cup to offer. As long as you go within. Stay in that energy. Be within. Be within. Go within. Go within. Go within. Stop forcing things. Stop speaking, you know, your mind so much. Let them, if they're, that's not saying they're perfect, but that's the devil energy. It's not a competition. It's not, this is like, this is not a competition about whose devil energy is worse. Yeah, but I'm acting like this because they deserve it because they're doing this. You're not opening their heart. Okay, well, then you need to back off. Go into the four of swords energy. Focus on love. Right? Then someone will move forward, have something to offer. This justice then will be served. Whenever I see the justice card, it means that there was an injustice at some point. That's the balance. Whoa. Oh my God. Star card. Beautiful. What's a star card? Healing, hope, faith. But you notice that all of the cards that are like a unicorn by itself is basically you yourself getting balanced, you yourself meditating, you know, trying to heal from your own heartbreaks, etc. You, etc., being able to move forward in yourself in your life, you yourself pouring in like leading with love, which then allows you to balance, you know, this cup on your back so you can offer it. You yourself have filled this cup so much you can pour it out. I'm telling you. As long as you do this, that's how you have a higher chance of this coming together. But don't worry about what the outcome is. Oh, I just got the chills. What's this? Ace of Cups. Told you. That is what. Brand new beginning in love. Pouring out your emotions. Let that freaking cup overflow. Right? Stop listening to all that crap. Like, no contact. This, 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 this. Dude. The thing is, just don't be, don't push people. Know when to back off. If they're being disrespectful, don't let yourself be disrespected. Lead with love and just be like, I'm not dealing with this. Keep your words minimal. Just lead with love. Focus on your own healing. You can't focus on this person's not healing. This person's not healing. This person's not changing. Well, you have something to change somewhere too. Focus on your change. And then you'll inspire this person to change themselves. They'll be able to realize it, okay? There is big, you know, energy here for possible reconciliation, which I told you is very difficult because two people have to be aligned. You have to work, you have to stop seeing the negative, know what your boundaries are, step away when you have to, if they're acting a certain way, let them do their thing and then just, just but just be loving, right if they're only keeping things on the surface and that pisses you off then don't engage in it too much but just like here and there you know be be nice back and if it makes you uncomfortable that's when you have to step away and then work on yourself but always lead with love fill your life with love okay i'm gonna pull they guided me to the urban tarot they had more st stuff to say, but I think I'm going to keep it here. That's what they wanted you to know right now. And it goes hand in hand, literally, again. Five of Swords. What did I say? You guys are exactly the same. There's a Five of Swords for you and a Five of Swords for them. Oh, my God. So as long as you engage in this. You're just marrying each other, marrying each other. Gambling. 
with, you know, your truth. Um, the point is, you gotta just let go, okay? I can't shuffle these cards for the life of me. You guys know that? Because they're so ginormous. I can't shuffle these cards. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta shuffle again, man. Can't do it. Maybe I have shuffle like this side. Don't make fun of me. These are hard. <laughs> They're bigger than my hand. That's what it is. I think the cards that I channeled came out, right? I see them. Okay. I'm in. I cannot. Do you see this? Look, I'm sorry, I just like, just, they are literally bigger than my hands. Like, I don't see the need to make freaking cards this big. I mean, I get it, but like, why? I'm wasting so much paper and they're uncomfortable. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. High Priestess again. Intuition, oh my God. What am I doing? Seven of Swords. Utility. Seven of Swords is, de uh, is deception. Five of Swords and Seven of Swords, those are not good cards. This is like you're defeating yourself. You're deceiving yourself. And somebody might be defensive to, I mean, you know, being, um, being sneaky. This is sneaky. This is cheating. Especially if it's like, you know, five of, uh, this is like gambling, cheating. It could be, they could, there could be a third party, whatever it is. If you see this energy, just back off of it. Send them love, give them love. When they communicate, don't engage. Be the change you want to see in other people and see if it comes together. Right? They could have all the people they want. If this is love, it's not going to be the same. It doesn't matter. Focus on yourself. If you have to date someone else in the meantime, do it. But this cycle is going to end. But the love here exists. The healing here is possible. But it has to start with someone. I cannot. Stop saying, I'm like, I cannot shuffle these cards. I'm literally manifesting not shuffling these cards the more that I say that. two more I believe cheese yep four four of pentacles blockage holding things close to your chest it says power though what's the what's what's the deception here you guys both want power one upping each other you both want power why do you want power and control power and control why why do you want to control this why are you getting angry and arguing with this person to control the situation? Why is this person not opening up to control the situations? You're both, you're both trying to control the situation regardless in different ways. You don't have a need to control a situation or need power if you didn't have an energy of lack or a fear of abandonment. If you feel like you need to control things or prove things, is you have a fear of abandonment. So you you need to heal that within yourself if you if you want any kind of possibility of healing that with another person. Oh my God, we channeled this card, did we not? Ten of Pentacles. How do you go from the Four of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles? Wealth. <laughs> oh man, Ten of Pentacles is. A union, a marriage, um, also wealth, financial abundance, like the ultimate thing that you can have. However, this next to the power card, it could be someone's like, again, didn't I say this can transfer into all areas of your life? That this goes hand in hand with the message about 
this is manifesting in all areas of your life. Understand that. The more, didn't I say, the more you hold on to money because you're afraid that, it, the, that the money is going to abandon you. That's the key word. It's the same concept. It's the same energy. The more that you want to control that energy, the less you're going to, the more you're defeating yourself and tricking yourself, self-defeat, self blocking yourself from getting wealth in all areas. That's what that says. If you want money, stop worrying about money. If you want love, stop worrying about the love. If you want money, do what you love. Find something. Stop saying, is this, should I do this? No, don't, don't. That's also a, a fear of abandonment, a fear that you're going to go after a career and it's not going to work out. That's why you're asking if you should do it. Hey, if your heart says this is going to make me happy, it's a passion project, start it. Guess what? That's going to bring you wealth comes from your heart space same thing should i be in this relationship you're afraid you're trying to have power control because you're afraid that that relationship is going to abandon you you're abandoning yourself with this mindset let go of the power let go of the defeat let go of the self defense uh, the, uh, the self uh deception and that is what will lead you to wealth in all areas but it has to, you don't have to communicate this with this person. Please just don't. They're saying just don't, just, you don't have to say anything. It's all energetic. The less you say, the better. Speak love. Here and there, tell them that you care. Support their decisions, whatever. Don't give too much. If they want to keep you around, keep it on the surface and like, like an, you feel like an option. If it makes you feel like that, then back off because that's either that it's either that they're in that energy or you're perceiving it that way because you're in a negative energy. Either way, something has to change. So just don't accept. Back off from things that don't make you feel good. But be open to share love, but always match their energy. And then slowly you're going to see if you're meant to come together, you'll build. You'll, it's letting go of that control you'll end up building wealth i'm telling you and i'm getting it's like this person also craves that but they don't know how to how to get there either they think they do because you both think you're right but you don't you're both you're both technically wrong because you're both coming from this place a lot whether it's financial in your mind and it doesn't matter it's the same energy I'm telling you so somebody got to change that most likely you whoever's watching whoa 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 no these are so let me, let me stop being negative with these cards no 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 hold on that didn't feel right man Let's try this again, okay? Okay, what's this? Knight of Cups, the seducer. We got the Knight of Cups under here. So it's like one person being able to offer love and another person being able to offer love. Two things. As long as you both get in this energy on your own, you'll be able to seduce each other and offer each other love. I'm also getting, however, one of you or both of you might be, like I said, this could be somebody seeing other people, trying to seduce people, going out for drinks with other people, getting their mind off stuff. But guess what? The same thing. If they're trying to replace you or not work on things and getting an escape, whether it's through gambling, whether it's seducing people, sex, going off of drinks, don't let it affect you because that's your abandonment wound. Work on your abandonment wound because at the end of the day, people do things like that. Why? Because if a relationship that they care about is not working out, they're going to chase something that gives them that rush. To make them feel loved because they don't feel loved whoa i just hit this whole device i'm sorry but if you always come from a place of love if the love is real you'll match each other's energy and they'll realize that all these other things they were trying to fill their cup with literally alcohol isn't real won't last long don't worry about it <laughs> tell me more 
Hold on. Sorry. Nope, 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 nope. You have to have that mindset. Like, whatever. Acknowledge that you have love. Okay? Stop. If you if you want to say no, like, because you're angry. If the love is there, you can't help it. So just care and, like, step back when it's reflecting this. And then work on yourself. That's the only thing you can do. Otherwise, you're defeating yourself because it's not like that love is going to go away. But don't push. Don't control. Don't care. <laughs> Basically, just always be loving. Oh, man, 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 man. These are the worst. Star card. Knight of Discs. Star, the Gourmet Chef. Prudence. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. We got the star card twice now. Notice that we keep getting the same cards twice, twice. We got the five of swords twice. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles twice. Uh, Knight of Cups twice. Okay. The star card twice. What does that mean? You guys are both in the same freaking energy. It's ridiculous. But it's, I love the fact that we got the star twice. The star is healing. Hope. Faith. Also things written in the stars. Knight of Discs is a Knight of Pentacles, the gourmet chef. Why do they pick these images? The images are not there for no reason, right? What does a chef do? They're very meticulous, very meticulous. There's a lot that goes into it. You just go there, you have a dish, it tastes great, but there's a lot of planning, there's a lot of execution, there's a lot that goes into it, it's a lot, okay? That's why they pick this image for the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight on this planet it's the grandpa horse in the traditional i call it the grandpa horse knights usually in the traditional tarot show horses but the thing about the knight of discs that i love people get frustrated with it because it's so slow it's the grandpa horse but when that grandpa horse finally gets to the finish line, what they offer, because it took so damn long, is so solid, it's beautiful. Because think about it, if it takes you 500 years to get to the finish line, you're gonna appreciate that more than anything. Eight of Pentacles, look at that. Because it took a lot of work, prudence. This is literally the card of work. The Eight of Pentacles is work, one by one, literally with a freaking mi a micro uh, scope. Is that what it's called? Magnifying glass thing, the eye thing, whatever. One by one, working on it. You gotta literally work on every little thing inside of you, on your own though. It could also be, because this is the seducer, that somebody escapes in the form of seducing other people and like focusing only on work. There's a lot of avoiding healing here. Just to avoid, what you're really avoiding is the feeling of abandonment. It's terrible. But that's going to heal. Okay? Same thing with the gourmet chef. Right? Here it's like working step by step by step by step. And here you do things step by step by step by step. And then you get the final plate. And it's beautiful and it's delicious. And it's the star. There's a lot of work that needs to go into this. And it's going to be slow. It's divinely guided to be that way. Because you both literally marry each other but the the energy that you both have within that stops you from your whole life is the same energy it's not a good energy five swords five swords that's why so that's why it takes more work but there is i always talk about possibilities nothing energy changes it's free will nothing is 100 percent. you get to choose if the stars are gonna align or not it's you this card is interesting, the star card, which is whole healing faith. It shows a woman and she's like huge and she's barefoot. And this is based off New York City, this, these images, right? And um, she's not afraid that there's broken glass or anything. She's touching this, um, this window that's broken glass. So there's a lot of broken things, but she's not afraid to touch it. She's knocking on this building like, hey, no, I'm about to fix this, whatever. I'm not afraid. 
What's the most likely outcome? Out. Jeez. Oh my God! All of that happened. Just so that I can fly out. I kid you not. If you're able, Ace of Cups, to open your heart, that's a, again. Literally, we. It's you guys are the same. The same card again. Two, two times. This is the most likely outcome. Oh my God! The lovers card, and I channeled it. Do I have to explain that? The image speaks for itself. You have to be strong, though. And this, I'm not here to give false hope. This is not an easy process. It's easy to watch this. But very, I can guarantee one thing. If you do this work, if this person doesn't do this work, you will get this regardless. This is the most likely outcome with somebody else doesn't matter because as long as you don't have an abandonment issue and you have your heart space open you don't care if it's this person or not you'll still love them regardless but you'll move on but i will tell you something if it's actually written in the stars and it's meant to be and you do the work within yourself this person will do the same there's the most likely outcome regardless all right i'm gonna pull some of these uh what are these called I forgot. What's wrong? I'm blanking out again. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Literally, this is finances. Somebody's working. Somebody's escaping and work. But it's finances and career. It says are a factor in your love life right now. You know what that means to me? It's that the lack, the, the abandonment thing, the lack mentality is affecting one or both of you in all areas. That's just an emphasis that, hey, this is not just, this is not a joke. This is not just affecting your love life. This is affecting everything because the more you wanna hold on to things, the less you're gonna get it. Okay, oh my God. <gasps> okay, real quick, this story. These are two of the same decks. I put them together. There's two of the same deck here. We got the same card. Finances and career again. Everything is doubled. You guys are exactly the same. This is ridiculous. <laughs> because the saying that this lack mentality, I don't care if you think it's the only person. You guys have the same issues. Yep. It could be that somebody, even though, let's say one person has a lot more money than the other person. One person could have $100 in their bank account. Another person could have $10,000 in their bank account. Another person could have a million dollars in their bank account. Doesn't matter. You're both having financial issues, okay? One way or another. Whether it's somebody overspends or the other person holds on to work too much and doesn't go after their passion projects and that's why they can't make more money. Or somebody, even though they have a lot of money, is not making what they, is not making, you're not making what you're meant to make. You're meant to be, let's say, a millionaire and you think you have a lot of money, you're making a lot of money, but you're still in a lack mentality. So you're holding on to the level that you're at right now because you're afraid to lose it. And you're afraid of success. Why are you afraid of succeeding? Why are you afraid about, you know, going after passion projects? Because you're afraid of losing that control because it's an abandonment. Okay, there you go. And listen, no shame. Guess who has these problems? Me. I'm not shaming you. I'm just channeling and reading the cards. I channeled it and it's here. I have these issues too. What do you think? That I'm able to... I'm not just a medium. I also, you know, this comes from my heart. But you know, I was put on this earth for that reason. You know why my heart space? Why I put so much passion in this? Because I've gone through a lot. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to talk the way that I do. My soul comes out here because I've gone through so much. I had the same issues even now. Tell you, I, I kid you not. Self-sabotage central. I understand, but if you need to change this, close this cycle, or your world is never going to change. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. End the story. How could you deny that if you have doubles of every card? It's ridiculous. So what's at the bottom? Reconciliation only. I kid you not. Look, look. 
children. Your love life is being affected by children. What I'm getting by that is literally what it says. Um, your love life is being affected by children, like actual children. Or didn't I say this is something it could be from childhood, okay? Um, like actual, like your your childhood. Um, but another thing is that this lack mentality also affects your children, transfers into your children. Right? You're afraid of doing something wrong for your children, your children, whatever. Anything that you control, you're trying to control, you're affecting everything. Look, look at what came out. Reconciliation, but only if you forgive and learn and free yourself. That's why I said nothing is guaranteed. You, it's fluid. You could only work on yourself and allow this energy to come forward. You gotta free yourself. Don't free the other. Don't don't try to free the other person from their issues. Free yourself, and then you'll. Then this can happen, possibly. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. It's a huge emphasis on that. You experience more love in your present moments. Again, if it could be your past in regards to children or childhood is your your childhood issues are your past. You got to free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. Exactly. There's control. You're trying to control external factors, but not controlling your own life. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Can't make it up. Look what's here. I don't read reversals here, but this kind of... I feel like... I feel like this was meant to be read both ways. Express your love in reverse. Like you guys are not expressing love appropriately. But then if you turn it around, it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture only after you release your ex. That's not just your ex, but it could be, yeah, literally like your ex hurt you. The time has come to clear your energy in general. There's a lot of like, oh my God. Let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. I keep getting this card as the meddling energy. Stop letting other people guide you like this. Like telling you, like getting like getting involved. I'm going to pull some astrology cards and uh, another oracle card. And then, um, yeah. House 11. Friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. Like-minded groups... First of all, be friends with yourself. Be friends with this person first. You're definitely like freaking minded. <laughs> so I'll tell you that, man. Holy ish. Never seen anything like this in my life. No, I'm sorry. What am I doing? Two more. Earth. Persistence, patience, and practicality. Yeah, be keep it simple. Keep it stable, be patient, be practical in the energy, you know? Just lead with love. That's it. House 10, structure, discipline, life, mission, accomplishments, and career. Again, you're lacking discipline, you're lacking structure, you're lacking accomplishments and things in your career because you're not learning this lesson. And your life mission is to learn this le lesson. lesson. You were put here, this is like a karmic lesson. You were put here for this. I feel like that you were meant to experience this. Whoa. Yin. Intuition, trust, patience, spirituality, and receptivity. I told you, got to be receptive. And I told you spirituality right after I said that you were like put here to learn this lesson. That's what spirituality is. Okay. I'm done with that. I'm going to pull one from here and one from the lover's oracle. And then we're good. Oh, my God. Hubba hubba. You know that dreamy look of deep, soulful love you've sometimes seen in the eyes of another as they gazed into your own? Expect a lot more of it. Woo! <laughs> Actually, gonna get one more from here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Things are not as they appear, it says. Oh my God, this is like basically the whole reading right here. The lower, your, the lower the price of your love, the higher its value. Brain freeze, the universe. What does that mean? Just, just lead with love. And a lover's oracle, just one. Who thought shuffling heart-shaped cards was a good idea? Like these are beautiful and everything, but they're very hard to shuffle. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we res I t oh my god. What else can we end with? When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. Could you not? You know what? I'm going to take one of these. Ooh. One, what's this? Self-love, that's where it starts. You realize the love of self is necessary to love another. You guys don't love each other. Uh, don't, no, not love each other. You guys don't love yourselves enough. Love and light. 